Hi, my name is Caleb Pike from DSLRVideoShooter.com and one thing that's really important to us as videographers and, and filmmakers is being able to monitor our video. And uh, while there are all kinds of alternative ways to monitor video uh, on DSLRs, uh, one thing I've been using recently is actually a laptop to monitor video. And um, usually the software that comes with cameras is rarely used. Uh, because often it's there's really nothing special there but one thing I've been using a lot is Canon's uh, remote camera controls and so today I'd like to show you a little bit um, some neat things you can do with that and while it's not um, frame accurate uh, it's, it's a little stuttery um, and it's not a good uh, display or way to monitor your video um, it definitely has its uses and in situations that it can be uh, very, very helpful. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in and show you a couple little tricks uh, that you can use uh, with your DSLRs. Okay, so I've pulled up the MacBook and uh, plugged in the 7D, which is what we're using today, and um, when I turned it on and plugged in my laptop, uh, the EOS utility fired up, and it gives us a couple options here. We wanna choose camera settings, remote shooting and that'll launch and it gives you this little bar right here um, to control uh, the camera settings now what we want is to do the live view shooting which is right down here remote live view shooting you'll click on that and nothing comes up right at first but if you look on the back of your display on the 7d you'll see it's a uh, you know press stop start button to activate movie shooting because we have it on the movie shooting setting so I can hit that You'll hear the shutter. There it goes. And here we are. Um, so I've got uh, a couple old projectors here to help us out today. And um, one of the things uh, that's nice about this is uh, while I'm doing this on the laptop, I could have someone else using the camera and you can still see the display, um, which is a big advantage since when you use the HDMI, uh, output or using that same um, USB input to go to component, you'll notice that you do not have the display. The display on the camera shuts off. Uh, so that's another big plus is if you have someone who wants to, you know, sit back here and see a larger image, uh, both operator and, um, uh, you know, the person on the computer can actually still both see the image. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is you'll see this is our focus box. I can just click and drag this anywhere. Um, so right, we can, for instance, put it over onto the uh, projector in the back. And we have a couple options here for focus. Right now it's on live mode, so if I hit this on button, you'll see it start to focus onto the uh, other projector back. There it goes, green, so we're focused now. Um, so that's one method. You know, again, I could just drag this right over to the other projector and start recording. Now what I'm going to do is switch to uh, quick mode, and um, you may not be able to see it here, but uh, you'll notice all of our little quick focus hotspots have come up, which is another nice feature of the 7D, and you can select these um, and, and uh, play around with that. Uh, for video, it may not be as uh, useful, um, it's more of a photography setting, so we're going to go back to live view. Um, so once again, this is, you know, just drag this around, can focus. Another ne neat thing you can do is if you double click, like I just did on anywhere in the image, you can um, control and zoom in. So we're zoomed in here. Uh, from here I can double click and focus. There we go. And uh, down here on the uh, lower right, I can say fit to window, and we're back zoomed out again. Another neat focus feature with uh, using this software is you can do uh, face recognition. So if you go up to focus, select, and switch to face detection live mode, uh, automatically the camera will lock on to a face, and you see it's tracking me there as I move around, um, you know, back and forth. And it does a really good job actually detecting face. You see when I look down, 
it actually goes away uh, as soon as I look back up, locks right on. So I pull them in here and you hit uh, on, it'll begin to focus. There it is. If I move all the way back, I'll do it again. Begin to focus. So there you have it. Another uh, nice little feature with uh, the software right out of the box. So that's just the focus, you know, another neat little quick, quick way to do focus. And uh, we can control white balance from here. Uh, so let's say we want to switch to tungsten. Uh, not much of a difference there. Let's try fluorescent. There we go. And now we're seeing some, some difference in our custom settings, back to auto. Uh, and then if you go all the way down to color temperature, you can just punch in your, uh, your temperature right here and uh, control it that way. And of course, all of this is controllable on the fly. If you see this other window on the right here, I can go in here and double click this and change my ISO right on the fly. Uh, I get my reading. Uh, I can change my white balance, my shutter speed. I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, and picture style. So I can go in here in my picture style, click it once. Uh, we're on standard right now. I could go to my super flat setting, which I have right here uh, for when I'm doing any kind of dramatic so I can do have a more dynamic range. Uh, you know, again, we can just click that, go back to standard. And, and, and you know, it's another nice thing just to be able to quickly fly through these. And then, of course, right down here uh, is our record button. I just click that. There we go. It tells us we're doing 1920 at 30 frames. And uh, we get our record time. And uh, you'll notice if I reach over here, and let's say I'm going to adjust my pan, the loosen the tripod. If I move the camera much, you'll see we begin to lose, you know, it's not frame accurate, so we're a little jumpy here. Uh, definitely nothing close to what we would be experiencing if we actually went directly to a monitor. So, but at the same time, we, we are able to see both the computer's uh, display as well as the display on the back of the camera. And once again, all this stuff is right off of the uh, software that comes with uh, the DSLR and um, while this is really built for more photography um, this is definitely a nice thing to have uh, if you're in a very uh, uh, set up standard uh, position where you're not going to be running gun much maybe you have a bunch of interviews or something you need to do this is a really nice way to be able to control the camera have a nice little uh, second place for someone to stand there and monitor and be able to look at the display on the camera um, and at one glance be able to con completely control it as well as uh, see your battery info and other camera settings.